And you probably realize too, like this is like a door that once I open it, like oh, I yes. can't close it. I was very aware. Yeah, I was. I was painfully aware. And it took me, like, I did sit on the decision for, like, a month, bef- like, between, like, doing some camming mm-hmm. and then coming out to L.A. and shooting my first few Can weeks. I ask how old you were when you did it? I was 18. Okay. I was 18. How do you feel about the fact that you were 18? Because a lot of girls say that they wish they had waited until they were older. So <sighs> some feel like 18 was fine for them. I think 18 was fine for me. I do understand why people think 18-year-olds shouldn't be able to get into porn. I think it doesn't isn't Florida some somewhere is doing that now where you have to be twenty one I oh, in oh. like in in dance clubs or strip clubs or something it, it oh. come, like I remember an article this summer where they're raising the the age for okay. like sex work basically interesting I, I don't remember what state it is but okay. I read a thing about it I dislike the idea that an eighteen year old can sign up for a four year contract in the military and go to die for our country but can't choose to do something extremely natural with their bodies I say on that, camera. I say that all the time. You can go get blown up by a fucking IUD, but God forbid should you suck some dick on camera. Yeah. And that's, I mean, Because that's, that's going to ruin your life, not getting like your legs blown off. <laughs> like, yeah. So I, I understand why there, because like there are plenty, plenty of girls that are not emotionally mature enough to think about those things. And I don't even think I was emotionally mature enough but I didn't make the decision on it wasn't on a whim. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do feel like there there should be a little bit more of a barrier to entry. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's it's hard because it's like, well, in some in some cases, like especially like new girls, they'll there's a lot of times where new girls will come in because they they might be on drugs and they need money or whatever. Oh, for sure. And there's a lot of people who get into the industry for the wrong reasons, yeah. And so I wish there was some sort of, Barrier to entry, like, I don't know if it would come from agents or if it would come from the testing centers or something, but something that would, like, protect the most vulnerable of us. And then at the same time, the, the you know, sex worker advocate part of me is like, well, no, this is supposed to be an accessible job for people. You know, who are we to regulate how people use their bodies? I don't want someone to regulate how I use my body. And also, like, who is that regulator going to be? Is it exactly. going to be the government? Right. You know what I mean? Because right. if it's not the government, which it isn't right now, like, yeah. we're a self-regulating industry, but, like, we don't, there's no laws that we can enforce against right. people who decide to get into the adult industry in other ways. And also, too, with all these creator platforms, and obviously you can film scenes on your cell phone, like, how are you going to stop people? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, that's where I'm like, I wish there was something. But I... You know what I wish? Honestly, I wish there was less stigma around being in porn. Oh, yeah. I think that's what ruins people's lives. Not specifically doing porn, but the way people treat you afterwards. A hundred percent. And like how a lot of opportunities are closed off to you. Well, it's so funny, too, because they're always like, oh, get a real job. And then you go get a real job and then they fire you from it because they found out you did porn. Yes. Ah, What do you want from us? What do you want from us? Like... (laughs) We're trying to do the thing you told us to do, and now you're not letting us do it. We are still humans. We still have bills to pay, and we're not less than because of what we've done on camera. Like, and then I I feel like also the people that are always like, oh, get a real, like, those are also like the most devout religious conservative Mm -hmm. types Mm -hmm. that preach about loving your neighbor and accept, you know, like. And I feel like the only time that maybe the public will give you a pass is if you come back and say that you were exploited or that that you you didn't know what you were doing. You were sex trafficked and you were influenced and it's not your fault and you hate it and you're so sorry. Then if you can play that victim role, then I feel like people can be like, oh, she's just a girl who didn't know what she was doing. Girls are so stupid. They can't make this Decisions. She got influenced by a bad boyfriend. Yeah. Literally. 